Al Kaline, nicknamed Mr. Tiger, played his entire 22-year baseball career for the Detroit Tigers. Below is his number of hits per season from least to greatest. Construct a box and whisker plot. So when constructing a box and whisker plot, first thing you have to do is make sure that your data is in order. And in this example, everything has been given to us from least to greatest, so that's all ready to go. So what we're going to do is identify five key things. The first thing we're going to identify is the minimum number. And we'll identify the first, what's called quartile, so we'll call that Q1. And we'll identify the second quartile, the third quartile, and then the maximum. Okay, the minimum and the maximum are easy enough. It's literally going to be the smallest number and the largest number. So the minimum is going to be 7, and the maximum is going to be 200. Okay, the next thing we'll find is the second quartile, because the second quartile just separates the bottom half from the top half. So this is going to be the same thing as the median. So because we have 22 numbers, 22-year career, it's going to be an even number, so we're going to have to average out the middle two numbers. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to divide 22 by 2 to figure out where that middle number is, so the 11th number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we're going to average out the middle two numbers. So that means in between is going to be Q2. So between 139 and 141, so this is 139 plus 141 divided by 2 is going to be 140. Okay, so Q2 is 140. So to figure out Q1 and Q3, essentially what we're going to do is find the median of the left side and the median of the right side. So on the left side, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 numbers. So I'm going to find the median, so that's going to be the 6 number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that 119 is going to separate the top 5 from the bottom 5. So 119 is going to be Q1. Do the same thing on the right side. We're just finding the median of the right side. So there's 11 numbers on the left. There's going to be 11 numbers on the right. So I'm going to count the sixth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So Q3 is going to be 170. Okay? So what we're going to do is mark all of this out using just a standard number line. And it's going to start at 7. It's going to end at 200. So as you're going through, make sure that your spacing stays consistent. You don't want to just willy-nilly put just numbers on your number line. So this whole line is about 200. So that means halfway through would be about 100. Halfway on the other side would be about 50. And then the other side would be about 150. Okay, so let's mark out where these numbers are. I'm going to use a different color so you can see. So I'm going to start with the 7 and the 200. The min and the max. Q1 is 119, so here's my 100. Halfway between would be about 125, so 119 is about there. Q2 is 140. And then Q3 is 170. So in a box and whisker plot, we're going to have a box that's around Q1, Q2, and Q3. And then we're going to have whiskers extending to the min and the max. And now what the box plot tells us is basically the distribution of the data. So anytime you have a really long whisker or a really long part of the box, that means you have a lot of variation within that part of it. So between 7 and 119, we have a lot of variation. Between 119 and 140, 140 and 170, we have about the same. And even really from 170 to 200. 